Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Just got back from the grocery store. My coach has sent me a new diet plan to follow for about like the next 10 days. Not gonna lie, this shit's kind of rough. I'm kind of scared of it. Because, you know, at first glance, I'm like, there's not that much food in there, especially not that much protein. But, you know, if you really look at it, it's like, okay, we do get some carbs. We get, like, you know, some other things that will definitely help keep us satiated. But at first glance, I was like, yo, this is going to be rough. Because the cardio was also increased. I got to do six days a week of cardio. It's not jogging anymore. I'm going to, like, either be on the tread mat, uh, I'm sorry, the, the treadmill or the Stairmaster. And I have to burn 400 calories a session, so... Doesn't matter what I do, how I do it, but like 400 calories have to be burned six days a week. And then when I consider that with the amount of food, I'm like, yo, this is gonna be a rough fucking 10 days. But let me show you what I got. Cause maybe, maybe it won't be so bad. I don't know, I'll, I'll have to see. Maybe when I get to eating and I'm like, oh, we actually get some good food. Maybe I'll feel that way, who knows? So <laughs> what I got today was, dang, it's just, I'm sorry, I'm a little low on energy and I'm feeling like messy and just, this is tough. But for my protein sources, we'll just do it like this. Got my protein, <clears throat> it's chicken. I got chicken and all, I, all the, the only other protein I get is fucking egg whites and like full eggs. And if I do get like super fucking hungry, he said, hey man, you can have like some ground turkey and some shrimp, but you know, not, not like a lot of it. The plan does not have that in there. I just told him, yo, this don't look like a lot of protein. Is this what you want me to eat? He was like, yeah, we're just going to do this for the next 10 days. He said, but, you know, shit gets really rough. You know, like four ounces, six ounces of some 99% lean ground turkey is not going to hurt. Some shrimp is not going to hurt. So he gave me those two options. So, yeah. Um, so chicken, egg whites, whole eggs, ground turkey, and possibly shrimp. I'm not going to get shrimp. It's going to be ground turkey if I... And adding on. So that's really it for the proteins. Easy as hell. Just get this out the way. For the carbs, which is nice, this is gonna be pleasant. I get some Ezekiel bread. Just one slice. But it's gonna taste fucking good. Because I get to put some almond butter on it. Almond butter, one tablespoon of almond butter. So that's like a, a, a plus. I get some, that's a fat source, the almond butter. Another fat source is some raw almonds. It's like a fourth cup of almonds in a day. That's cool. After the gym, I get to have like a fucking fourth cup of cream of rice. That's not gonna be much, but it will taste delicious, but a fourth cup isn't shit. Um, we get apples. We get an apple a day, nice. Got the honey crisp apples. We get about a cup of pineapple a day. Nice, that's exciting. And, Oh, I gotta put some sugar-free jelly in my cream of rice. Um, and then some of that day I get like a, a, a fruit of my choice so I could either repeat, you know, pineapple, repeat apples, get some other fruit that I like. Before the gym, I get to have a couple blueberries, which I didn't get. I didn't get them. So that's the only thing I'm really missing. I get some avocado with the eggs. Got avocados right here. And I get to put some mushrooms with the eggs as well. And then for my vegetables, I can pretty much have anything, but I got asparagus because they were on sale. And I got like power greens, this is, but it's just like mixed salad stuff because I get to have a salad. So that's really it. Um, I do also get like a third cup of rice, but I already have rice, so it's in there. It's in my pantry. And that's it. The meals are really like, it's like breakfast. Then there's a snack meal with just a fucking apple and like some almonds. That's meal two. The third meal is like seven ounces of chicken with maybe like some rice and some vegetables. So that's like a solid meal. But then after that, it's like another snack meal with just like a half cup of fruit and something else. So it's like, that's not much. And then the last meal is like a salad with like three boiled eggs, which ain't, which ain't shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It sounds rough. Because in my head, I'm like, basically, you're giving me three meals. And of those three meals, one is seven ounces of chicken, which is a good amount. That's like 55, 60 grams of protein. That's amazing. But I get like four egg whites in the morning. That's like fucking 20 grams of protein. That ain't shit. 
and I get like three boiled eggs at, at later in the day with a salad, that like kind of puts my protein intake at like 100 grams, 102 grams, which I know it sounds really low, but I don't like to question my coach too much. So if he says that's what we're doing for the next 10 days, I'm like, all right, I'll do that for sure. But I'm telling you, I know how fast I be shredding. I do more physical activity than the average person as well, even like the average bodybuilder. So I know I'm about to just run through that protein and likely I'm going to be adding like at least four to six ounces of ground turkey to, to my daily meal. And I have ground turkey, but I'll show you, you know what I'm saying? Cause I got that shit frosted right here. I'll be adding some 99% lean ground turkey to the meals, uh, most likely. Cause I, it just sounds like a little bit, but I could be wrong, you know, you gotta have faith. You gotta trust your coach, but at the same time, if I'm weighing myself every day and my weight's fucking dropping and I'm just feeling my energy levels and I'm going through these workouts and I'm just fucking grinding cause I be grinding, I'm gonna know if it's too little. And if I know it's too little, then I will make the like executive decision, if you will, to add a little bit of ground turkey. Cause this shit is 99% lean. It's just fucking pure protein. My body's just gonna know exactly what to do with it. It's not gonna slow anything down. So yes, that's the move. Um, most excited I'm about is the fruit and the Ezekiel bread. That sounds lovely. And I'm not gonna lie, that cream of rice is gonna be banging. It tastes just like cream of wheat. I don't know if you've had cream of wheat, but when I was younger at my grandma's house, she always made me cream of wheat and she put sprinkles on it and it was so fucking good. So I just have childhood memories of cream of wheat. Cream of rice, it's like the same exact thing. It tastes the same, so. I'm excited. I know the next 10 days, like I said, I imagine they'll be tough, but I know for a fact I'm gonna be like super fucking shredded at, at the end of it. Like the 10 days is gonna be fucking crazy. Probably weigh like 195 right now. I bet you after 10 days, I'll weigh. I might weigh like 180. Dude, I bet you that scale will say 186 or some shit. I know that sounds intense, but I know I'm gonna be so fucking depleted that like, I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna be so weak. On like day 10, I'm gonna hop on the scale and it's gonna say like 186, 187. That's my prediction. We'll see. But that'll be a very depleted state. So like, we're gonna get a refeed after that. And we're, you know, we'll, I'm gonna make sure that like, I'm not fucking dying out here because we're trying to retain as much muscle as possible. Trying to look good as we can for the show, okay? Cool. That's all we got. By the way, it's October 10th, okay? And we are like a little over five weeks out from the show. So yeah, forgot to add that in there. I'm gonna make meal one, which is just like four egg whites and mushrooms, some avocado, and I forget what else, but I need to eat. It's late in the day, but I woke up late, so it's not a trip. And I'm gonna be up late, so I'll still get all these meals in. The good thing, I'm not gonna lie about it though, even though it's not a lot of meals, or, I'm sorry, it's not like a lot of food, I think the positive is I should get all my meals in every day. You know, when, I, when I'm eating like more meals and things like that, it's hard to get six meals in. It's, uh, and I, I usually fumble and get like fucking four or five. But with this, I'm for sure gonna, like every single day I'm gonna get all my meals in, which is a satisfying feeling for me because that just makes me feel like I'm doing everything right, everything in my control. Because when I'm missing meals, I feel like, fuck you, you know, you did good, but you didn't do 100%. This, no doubt, I'm gonna be able to 100% of the time knock it out. So, that's all. All right, y'all, so this right here is meal one. We got four egg whites, half a small avocado, and we get a cup of pineapple. So, boom. It actually looks pretty filling, you know what I mean? I didn't think those egg whites and the mushroom was gonna come out to that much, but it actually looks like a decent plate, not gonna lie. But there's not a lot of calories in it, so even if it feels like a lot and you feel like, yo, I'm eating, you struggling to eat all them eggs, you're gonna fill it in a day like, yo, that shit actually wasn't anything. <laughs> so. Yeah, but I am happy about the pineapple. That, that's all I get for my next meal. It's a snack meal, bro. A fourth cup of almonds. Puny. Puny. And I get a whole apple, though. So, yeah. That's what I meant when I said, ain't no way you're missing a meal with this meal plan. You could eat, like, three of the meals all in one fucking sitting. You know what I'm saying? So... I just ate the eggs, the mushrooms made it, you know, I like the mushrooms. 
and I'm just going to fucking eat this apple, eat these almonds. And today, I'm not going to record this, but uh, I'm going to, like, go live with my dad. Or, like, coach him a little bit, take him through a workout, but then I'm going to go um, and do a solo workout later, and I'll record that, though. Okay, so that's the move right now. All right, y'all, we back. And I got meal three right here. Um, so, like I said, I went and took my dad to the gym. He did like four or five sets of flat bench. Maybe like four or five sets of the incline chest press. And he did one set of some cable flies and was like, yeah, we good, we good, let's get out. <laughs> I'm like, all right. Hey, if you, if you know, it's like his first day back in years, so he wasn't trying to go too hard, you know? And um, yeah, he was just feeling like winded, like, nah, I gotta call it. And I'm like, all right, but let's do it. You know, let's keep coming back. Like three days a week would be nice. So that was fun. Um, but yeah, like I said, I got meal three right here and I'm gonna eat this and then go to the gym. To be honest, I may not even eat all of it because you'll see the rest of my meals throughout the day. Um, and it's just not much. Plus I don't like to go to the gym I'm like a full stomach. I got like hair in my mouth, I'm sorry. I don't like to go to the gym on a full stomach, so I don't even want to eat it all, but I do need like at least half of it. So I'm gonna eat some, it, what it is is seven ounces of chicken, a third cup of sweet potato, and some spinach. It's supposed to be a third cup of rice, but I don't have any rice cooked and I'm ready to go to the gym, so I'm not about to sit in the house for 30 minutes and make some rice. Plus like sweet potato and rice are uh, about the same macro, so this is just fine. <clears throat> um, we got chest day. I'm gonna go hit my chest day now, and we'll definitely put some more work in and make some gains. Plus, let's see like how shredded we are. I don't know if I, I don't. I feel like I haven't shown you guys in a while, so let's see what the physique's looking like. You know, but here we go. Yeah, I'll probably only eat half of it. Save the rest for later. Yo, so we starting our chest day right now, and we're gonna start with a compound, and the compound of choice is flat bench. Okay, so this is my third set. We started with one plate, then two plates, and now we got two plates and some tens on there. And right now my strength ain't the best. We lost like 35 pounds and my strength kinda went with it, so we're just working with what we got here. I'm just trying to get a good stretch on the negative, good contractions on the positive, and basically just get a good pump. So this is my fifth set. We came back down to two plates and we're just burning out right here. So just get a good pump, keep the chest full. We're five weeks out. That's what we're aiming for. Moving on to our next exercise, which is also a compound and a press incline dumbbell bench. This here is my third set. We're working with the hundreds. I started with 50s, did 75s. Those are like my warm up sets. And now my working sets are gonna be with the hundreds. I'm just really burning out every set. My rep range is probably falling in the six to eight range. And the reason I'm keeping that 100 is because I, I do want that volume, like I said, just to keep that pump. If I increase the weight, you know, we'd be in like the three to five rep range, which is cool. But today, I just wasn't feeling it. Just like, let's, let's do it this way. So we're just banging out the hundreds, three working sets of that, and it was good work. Check the physique a little bit. I like to take take my shirt off at this point because I'm getting kind of shredded and like to see the muscles and just see how I'm looking. It's an empty gym. It's always late when I go, so there's only like five people there. and They can't really complain. Moving on to some incline dumbbell flies. This is the third set. We did 25 pounds and 40 pounds, and now we're working with the 50s. And just trying to get the stretch, feel the contraction. It's a new type of motion, you know, it's not press, we're doing flies, so we just focus on getting that deep stretch, good contractions like I, like I told you. We moved up in weight right here, so we got the 60s in hand, and we're banging these out. This is good work, man. This is good work. So done with those, check the physique a little bit more, man. We're getting dicey, guys, five weeks out. This is what's up. Okay, moving on to the next workout, we got the cable flies. You know, you got weapons in the gym. You got free weights, consist of dumbbells and barbells, easy bars, you got your machines, and you got your cables. 
So I'm switching the weapons up. We did the incline dumbbell flies. Now well, let's come to the cables, man, and feel a different type of tension while our chest is super pre-exhausted. And it just feels really good. So bang those out. And that's all we did for chest today, actually. Four exercises, two presses, two flies. And we're flexing at the end, just seeing what we're working with. Hit that side chest. We're going to be posing on stage in like five weeks, so I'm, I'm trying to get nice with the posing, you know? Come and check the scale. 194.8. So we're probably like 192 pounds without clothes. And right on track. All right, y'all, we back from the gym, man. I just did four exercises today. Flat bench, incline dumbbell bench. We did the incline dumbbell flies and finished with the cable flies. I was just kind of feeling beat today. Like I wasn't getting a pump like that, like that. It didn't feel like at least. I um, think I'm a little overtrained. I can't remember the last time I just stayed home from the gym, you know? Sometimes I don't lift, but I'll still go to the gym and like stretch and do fucking handstands and shit. So I don't really know if that counts as a rest day, you know? Um, my body's just, it's feeling beat. I'm really tired right now. And what is this? Four, it's like 4.47 a.m. Usually I get tired around like 10 a.m. That's how bad my sleep schedule is, but right now I'm fucking exhausted. Um, but <laughs> I got these meals I gotta eat. But lucky for me, in this case, it's not a lot of it's not a lot of food, right? This is this is a snack meal. This is like my dinner. And this is a post-workout meal. It could really be just one meal. That's the contents of this shit. It's not a lot of food, you know. But it's about to taste good right now because I'm so fucking just depleted and weak. But yeah, let's break it down. You know, we got a uh, this is cinnamon raisin Ezekiel bread one slice of it with a tablespoon of almond butter and then I get a half cup of any chopped food of my choice I got pineapple on deck so we got some pineapple again this is what I'm supposed to have uh, immediately after the gym this is a fourth cup of cream of rice with some sugar-free jelly on it it's like a tablespoon of sugar-free jelly I'm excited and this right here man this is like this is the final meal um, this is three eggs with a fucking salad and like a tablespoon, not even, nah, not even a tablespoon, like, cause he said I could use a dressing that has 30 calories in it. This one has too much, so I like had to barely use any, just a couple drizzles. It was probably, yeah, didn't really get much on there, but I'm excited to eat all this shit cause I'm so fucking hungry and tired. It's going to be good. But as you can see, there's not much to eat in a day for me. You know what I mean? We had that four eggs with the mushrooms. A fucking little bit of avocado on there, a cup of pineapple. We had an apple with a fourth cup of almonds for a snack. We had the seven ounces of chicken with a third cup of rice, a little sweet potatoes today, and uh, I had some spinach. And then meal four would be this. Boom. Meal five would be this. And this is just like a post-workout snack. It's not technically not a meal. And the only other thing that I missed is I'm supposed to have a cup of blueberries before the gym. That's it. So this is like a full day of eating, you know? I'd love to eat this in front of you and shit, but no, I'd really love to sit my ass down, relax, and eat on the couch and just pass out after. <clears throat> so yeah, this is just like, yeah, just checking up, showing you that the new, the new diet plan update, uh, you know? We're like, we said 194 pounds with the clothes on, so probably like 192 or some shit. That means we're 38 pounds down. That's fucking dope. Uh, my goal was to lose 50 pounds. That's what I thought I needed to do. And that means we only got like, what, 12 pounds left to hit that goal. We might need to lose a little bit more to get like uh, supremely shredded as I need to get for the show, but you know, we're like fucking 15 pounds, 17 pounds away. And yeah, I didn't do the cardio today. It's six days a week, so I'm gonna have to really just <laughs> go every fucking day after today. I was just exhausted. I was not about to do it. So we'll just keep fucking trooping along, thugging it out. Um, much love. I'll see you guys next vlog, okay? Peace. <sighs> oh, yeah.